Good morning, Trump supporters, Americans, fellow patriots. I hope you're doing well. I'm trying to keep my shit together here. My nerves are rocked. I don't know whether to cry, get mad, but I've got hope. You've got hope. You're my hope. You're the ones keeping me up, so thank you. Because not with my lineage, dudes. Not with pilgrim blood going through my veins. No way. This just can't happen. Anyway, I had a genius idea. I live in Yuma, Arizona with that beautiful wall, but I will shoot you if you try to take it down. Don't even try it. Anyhow, I looked up on if we can video record our voting in our polling booth. You know, like I take my cell phone in, I go and click just like I am right now and video me making my choices. Well, that is illegal in many states, and Arizona is one of them. This is a suggestion to our president, to our senators, to my governor, Ducey, in Arizona, and all other states that do not allow this. I'm going to tell you how you get rid of fraud, okay? It's a two-step idea. I'm sure there's a few kinks in it, but it's the generalization of the idea. You change the law, number one. We should be able to take our cell phones into our voting booth. And whether, which I did this year, go by paper because I was told it was quicker and easier. I was not told why using a computer voting mechanism, like I did when I voted for Trump the first time, wasn't available or if it was working right. I just wanted it in. I wanted it by my own hand. I wanted my prints on that paper. But who's going to fingerprint a freaking voting ballot, right? Well, that's pretty expensive. And my idea, it's going to cost money, but it's not going to cost money like you've been doing. Believe you me, it's not. I hope. You allow people to take in their videos, their cell phones, and to video record them themselves making the choices that they made. You then hand in your ballot. You show the video. Well, you know the video. You know who you voted for. Or if you need to, you can verify it and such. And you take it up to a poll worker. And you watch them enter each little tick. You know, you one, two, three, four, five. You enter the ticks into the column that you have voted for. The choices that you've made. And they enter. And you watch the national or the state or the county or the city or whichever uh, political race it is that you have voted for that your little tick just went in there with everyone else's. And then you are sent an email receipt and, and given a paper printout of whom you voted for. To show that your tick went into the columns as such as you just witnessed with your own eyeballs. And that it has been entered into the counts of said race. That's it. You don't have the government do the video. You don't have the poll workers do the video. It is in the power of the people's hands. It's in your hand. So you're responsible on making your video work correctly. You're responsible for having your vi your video being saved correctly. And you're responsible for that piece of paper. It's all on you. So now you can't sit there and blame some pollster. Or, oh look, he voted for Biden. Nah. Oh look, he voted for Trump. Fuck off. No. You. Just you. And if something goes wrong... You have the evidence and the proof to make sure that your voice is heard and counted as you put it in. Not changed. No. And the reason for a paper receipt is in case they hack the system. You've got a physical copy. I suggest you also get some notaries on there. Get some notaries in those polling places to notarize these papers. To show, yes, they're real. It's not a computer printout. Because anybody can do that from home. You think I'm stupid? I'm only half Polish, honey. I got something up in here still. It still works a bit. You got to think outside the box, dog. 
I know we can do this. And I know President Trump is going to be our president again. Y'all think, you know, you Democrats, you socialists, you progressives, you're fucking dirty dogs. You know what you do with a dirty dog? You go old yeller on him, man. And as for Beverly and Beatty, I pray for you, my love. I thank you, and I thank Jesus, and I thank God that you have come into my life, that I have heard your word. I thank the Lord that he has heard you and loves you, and I know he does. And has kept you safe and will keep you well and heal you. And I hope those little three kids, as you call them, I call them heathens. I hope they know. I hope they know. Now that the world knows what they did to you and the Proud Boys and to that old man, that older, older gentleman, whom I pray for as well. I pray for all of you. I hope they know what they've done. I know now. There's millions of them coming and looking for you. And they are going to hang you high, boy. And girls. Little pussy bitches. Sorry about my language. Try to keep it clean there, but oh boy. And I do believe that President Trump and the First Lady Melania Trump, bless their souls, God bless them, should go and visit you and the other victims of the stabbing. I really do. Physically get in that dang hospital and visit you. All of you. You are true patriots. May the Lord bless you, all of you watching this video. Whether you voted Trump or Biden, I still want the Lord to bless you. You're my fellow American. We don't have to agree on politics, but we sure as hell do not need to destroy this nation. I'm sorry. I love you all. You have a blessed day. Trump 2020. We're gonna win.